there were people who started challenging me. And one such person was from USA again. I'll tell you his name. Sam Shamoon. Sam Shamoon. And when I went to Chicago, I met him. He said, oh, I want to debate with you. I said, send your guru. And then I had a debate with his guru, Dr. William Campbell. And when I accepted this debate, I was called by the students of USA that Dr. William Campbell wrote a book, Quran and Bible in the Light of Science. And he took out about 30 scientific errors in the Quran. And for eight years, no Muslim replied. So this book was doing a great damage for the da'wah of the Muslims. And no one replied, so I took up the challenge. I read the book and I went and I debated with <laughs> Alhamdulillah, the debate took place in Chicago and Allah's help was there. Allah's mercy was there and it was a very successful debate. So much so that after that, Alhamdulillah, William Campbell who got a doctorate in writing a book against Islam, MashaAllah, it lost its popularity. <laughs> Later on then, I made a policy that after my video started becoming popular, then I had a rule. I will only debate with those people who are popular. So then I had a policy that anyone who wants to debate with me should minimum have at least 2% of the audience that I have in my largest gathering. <laughs> and earlier I said that anyone who can gather 10,000 people individually for a lecture, I will debate him. Yes, I met Zachary Naik face to face and I called him out to a debate, but the coward backed down and said, I have to get one million people to attend my lecture before he'll consider debating me because he's a coward, son of Satan. I met him here in Chicago around 2001. Yeah, I met him. 2001, he was here. He debated William Campbell, Niles West High School, and I was in attendance. He smoked Campbell, unfortunately, and I called him out in front of his cronies and I said, anytime, any place, I'll debate you and I'll bury you. And he said, when you can bring one million people to hear you lecture like I did in India, then I'll debate you. I go, you coward. I go, you're no better than your prophet. That's what I told him. In his face. And I'm not lying. The Lord knows I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, the coward. That's why Zachary Naik, the clown, the coward, the son of Satan, came up with a video saying why he won't debate David Wood and I. It came out because everyone and their mother sent me the video. And for the record, let me correct this liar. And it's now here, and I'm saying it, and I want Zekar Naik to address me and have me call the show. He said that when I challenge him to debate, he said to me that he'll debate my teacher. My teacher is William Campbell. Sam Shamu. And when I went to Chicago, I met him. He said, oh, I want to debate with you. I said, send your guru. <laughs> and then I had a debate with his guru, Dr. William Campbell. That is a lie from the pit of hell. May the Lord Jesus rebuke and chasten the liar. So if I'm lying, the Lord's going to rebuke me. I never said William Campbell is my teacher, and I never asked him to debate William Campbell. He's lying because he's no better than his wicked prophet who's a devil and his God is Satan. I never told him that. Never. So what kind of wicked, filthy liar would go on air and deceive Muslims to say that I actually want him to debate my teacher, William Campbell, when I never called William Campbell my teacher, and I never told him to debate William Campbell. After the debate, I said, here, I'm writing responses to your garbage. I'm going to place it on answering Islam because I will bury you and decimate you. Let's set up a debate. And in front of people said, you have to get one million people to attend your lecture before I debate you. That's what he said. And I had a brief mini debate with him in Skokie Public Library. He had only a few cronies in a private room. One of them was Sabil Ahmed on the deity of Christ. His crony, Sabil Ahmed, who I know, I actually like the guy, recorded it, and I buried him with Revelation 1, 17, 18, where Jesus says he's the first and last. And they never posted that recording because they didn't want people to see that their hero, Nayak, got obliterated by me in private, in a room in Skokie Public Library. Because at that time, I wasn't as known. I was just coming out because I had just started, what, writing for the website, answering Islam 1999. This was around 2001. So people didn't really hear about me at that time. 